Hey there, Chad here for the AI Content Dojo. In this video, I want to just have a casual sort of an example of how you might use phrases templates to accomplish something kind of cool inside of uh, your content creation workflows. Uh, I haven't created a video in a little while and I've been really, really busy working on the Pro Dojo. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you'll see it in here a little bit. And of course, the recent release of the book. I've been pretty busy, um, and I realized that I haven't put out a, a nice video for you guys in a while. And I want to talk about phrases templates because I think that they're becoming pretty powerful, uh, especially now that yesterday they released the ability to do multi variables. And I've been talking to the development team and to, and to Tommy, the CEO of Phrase, and I know that there's something really cool coming beyond that. So I think if you don't use the templates much that you might want to kind of start, kind of practice with it a little bit. I will kind of let the cat out of the bag uh, for my pro dojo members. My I call them my ninjas, my pro ninjas. I, I am creating a course to describe phrase templates, how to use them, how to make them how to import and update them. And I've got a new tool that's coming soon that I'm going to be, you know, phrases, templates are going to be a pretty big part of that tool. And that course is going to describe how to use it to become really efficient in creating content. So let's dive in here a little bit. I'm just going to go over to the dojo's templates here. And let me zoom in. I don't know why it didn't keep the zoom there. That was weird. Um, but I did release a new template today and that would be the restaurant review template. So if you need some help creating a restaurant review, this is that review template is more like a, like what a travel blogger would write for, um, you know, a cool place they checked out while they were traveling. Not, not like a Google maps, like, Hey, real quick, like, Oh, the food's great. You should try it. No, hey, this is like more like you're going to be blogging about a restaurant. So that's what that template's for. And these are the, all the templates that I've created so far. I've got probably about 80 more planned. These are all tested in Shortly, Phrase, and Jarvis. And if you don't see a template that you want, you can request it here. And I can see if I could find some time in my busy schedule <laughs> to try to create one for you. But uh, I think for this video, what I want to kind of say is, you know, let's talk about like from the perspective of maybe creating a blog article or something. And I, you know, if you think about it for a second, there's a few major components to a blog article, right? Um, I'm going to assume that you already know what your topic is. You know, you've got your overall niche that you're writing for, but then there's a specific topic within that niche that you want to write about. I'm also going to assume that Maybe you've purchased my personal my persona SEO book and you already have a really good understanding of who your target audience is or who your target reader is. So you have that in mind as well. So you've got your topic. That's a major component of your article, obviously, because that's going to be what you're going to write about. You've got your reader and you've got your reader really like you really, really know your reader so that you can combine the topic with the reader and give them what they need from your writing and now we're going to have a tool right we're going to use phrase and inside of phrase we're going to use templates and then you know you're going to use your writing skill and take the time to create a content a piece of content that your reader needs from you so if you think about how that might be structured you might say that an article well an article has an introduction right so we're going to need that uh, maybe sometimes you have a question that you're going to answer. So this featured snippet here, the featured snippet template, you know, that answers questions roughly in the size that works really well for Google, you know, and to create Google snippets, that is f featured snippets, like in what you might see in a search result. Uh, that thing is that coveted spot, right? Like rank zero, they call it sometimes where you're basically front and center of a search. If you can get that. Uh, you might use inspirational messages or things like that, but you're almost definitely going to also have an outline, right? And so you can kind of see you're going to have an article, introduction, 
You're going to maybe have a little bit of extra if you want to, some story time or something to something kind of connect your reader with this with the topic. An outline that just kind of covers all the main, you know, hits all the main points that you're going to be writing about in that topic. And then you basically just need to fill in the outline, right? Each section gets filled in with a few paragraphs to add the, you know, what it is that you need to write about for that section. You might also consider within each section that you have a sort of sub outline inside of there to kind of guide your writing as well. So that might be using outlines twice, for instance. But you can use really any number of these, you know, you, you have, if you want to come up with some questions that you want to write about for that topic, you can use this template. Um, this template right here, uh, I don't have that actually started inside of phrase yet. It does work inside of phrase. And what it will do for you is it will write an introduction to a section and then also give you two headings based off of the the outline you know the sort of outline heading that it's being it's writing for so you'll give it the overall topic of your article and then you'll give it the outline sort of introduction i mean uh, the outline heading for the section and um i'm going to show you how to use this when it's not imported into phrase but later there will be a button here to import it into phrase for instance if you if we go over to um like outline there's a button right here. You can click on this and it'll import it into your phrase so that you can use it inside a phrase. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get started with something sort of standard, right? Article introduction. My article is about, um, let's write about uh, how to run faster, right? So one way that you might use this in, let's just, for instance, this is the way you would use it in pretty much every free form AI writing tool out there. Um, well, let's, let's start a new document here in phrase, how to run faster. And then I will show you, you can paste the template in there just like this. And let's just kind of do something. Cause one thing you might notice with tools like this, if you paste something in there and then try to just run the AI on it or something, without making any changes to it. It's like the editor can't see the content and just kind of acts weird. And let's go ahead and move it closer. So our what we're doing right here, imagine that phrase didn't have templates maybe, or, or picture maybe that you're inside of Shortly or inside of uh, Jarvis, which doesn't have the concept of custom templates. So you'd paste this in here. This kind of, what this is doing right here is it's kind of telling the AI this is what I want the result from you to look like. That's basically what a template is doing. And this is what I want it to be about. And then we're gonna do introduction, we're gonna space here. I don't want this to be bolded, so I'm gonna just hit a Command B to turn that off. And now I'm just gonna hit write for me. The way it works in phrase is it's gonna switch this screen over here. I'm gonna lower this down a little bit, uh, maybe to about 70 and I'm gonna bring this creativity up one and then I'm just gonna hit write for me and it should write an introduction to running barefoot <laughs> interesting that I chose how to run faster right because it's gonna <laughs> it's so related to um, running barefoot so let's let's change this to how to cook better maybe and let's see if it doesn't it shouldn't be talking about uh, running anymore. That is the risk we, we take with these freeform writer to writing tools like this, but let's see. There we go. So what we're getting here is an introduction to our article, and this is based off of just the template that we pasted in here. I'm not using one of the templates from inside a phrase yet. Now I've already imported the templates, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. When we go down to the Write For Me button down here and we click this, brings up a little menu, click on templates, and I've already got a few of them in here. Now I prefix all my templates with AICD, which is the AI Content Dojo. And if you're a pro ninja, you also have access to the pro version of each of these templates. So that would be an AICD Pro uh, is what would be imported when you're a pro member. And so what we want to do is we want to get an introduction. So I'm just going to click on this, 
and how to cook better was our was our prompt and I'm gonna take this away we don't need this anymore and let's make this title how to cook better <clears throat> kind of interesting that uh, <laughs> the template just happened to be about running too huh all right do this and now let me just say this real quick first is how to cook better is not a great prompt it's a little bit lacking in kind of richness and you know doesn't really give the ai a lot to work with so the results are going to be not fantastic but it should give us something we're just going to get a little, a little introduction to our content here that we're trying to do <clears throat> And we'll see, here we go. Cooking is one of my favorite hobbies. It's something I enjoy doing. Okay. All right. And so the thing with templates is sometimes it starts off on like it's like its own new next thing. So we can just go ahead and remove this. We don't need that. So we've got our introduction here. And now we want an outline, right? So we can go here and we got uh, outline. And what it wants is a topic. Be as description, descriptive as you can. Um, it's how to cook better. But I'm going to see what happens if I put all of this in there. It's probably too much. I actually never tried this before with phrase. But let's just see what happens. Uh-oh. I don't know where I put my mouse cursor on here. It might have... The cursor might be in the wrong place. Yeah. It just took it all away. <laughs> Well, good thing I have it copied over here, but we're getting our outline, so we'll still keep this. We'll use this. This is a good outline. And then we'll come over here and we'll copy this back. Whoops. Yeah, be careful. One of the things you <clears throat> need to be really careful with is, is where your mouse cursor is when you hit these buttons. Like mine was up here. I had everything highlighted, so it just stole it. Um, yeah, just, just be careful with that. Okay, so now we've got an outline to our article. So we've got a pretty decent start to something going on here. One thing that I would say that with the outline is you want to try and make sure that the the heading basically could be good. What this is going to become is like entire sections of the article, right? Oops. And um, what we want to do is we're probably going to turn those into H2s eventually and then fill it in with the, the content below it. Um, how to cook better is sort of the whole thing. So let's go ahead and take that away. Um, what is the best way to cook? You might qualify this a little bit, add some more content or, you know, some direction to it. What is the best way to cook, you know, with a fry pan or with a cast iron skillet or something like that, you know, just kind of add a little bit more richness and topic focus kind of to each section. And then especially pay attention if a section sounds like it's really generic by itself, like right here, what should I start with? Imagine if I walked up to you and all I said to you was, what should I start with? You're going to look at me like I'm crazy, right? Like what the heck? This dude's is walking up to me in the, out of the middle of nowhere and just says, what should I start with? I say that because... If you think about it, sometimes if you if you're a pro ninja, you've got access to a course that I talk about context, where that's the stuff that goes over to the AI to request content from it. And there's certain things inside of these apps where the context is just certain parts. So you might find yourself someday where you're using commands and you might do like slash phrase. The way that commands work inside a phrase is you would basically say, write a AICD outline. <laughs> Sounds really weird. About, and then what if you used this? Like you want to get uh, a, a sort of sub outline to this section of the writing. When you do this, this is the context that's being sent over to the AI. What should I start with? How is the AI going to know that this is about cooking or how to cook better? So maybe this would be better said as where should I start oops, do like to cook better. Okay. That gives it a little bit more context. 
It probably will understand what I mean at that point. I'll just put this back there. And then if I run this command, which is technically just running this template in the command. And so I should get an outline. And it's not, <laughs> it's not giving me a good one. It's basically repeating what the uh, template has in the example output here. So phrases, uh, tools and stuff, this AI writing tool stuff is in beta. So there's going to be some mistakes sometimes, but oh well. Uh, what I'm really trying to show you here, not necessarily running commands. So let's see, create an RSI, yeah, that's extra. We want to write uh, ways to cook better. So, okay, let's go back over to our templates now. And let's do, what if we did an inspirational message <laughs> with where should I cook, start to cook better? Let's put our prompt in here. Let's make sure that our cursor is right here, right below that section, and let's run. <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see what this template will produce. It's not really meant for this. Okay, write an insp inspirational message about how to get rid of body fat. That'll be interesting. All right, we don't need that though. If you want to cook better, start with your kitchen. It's where you spend most of your time, and it's also where you'll find yourself spending more time in the future. Okay, actually, that's not bad advice, huh? Um, in addition, let's put a little lead here. Again, that's another component to writing with these AI tools, is giving it a little bit of a lead, and then we're going to hit uh, write for me and let the AI take over. Actually, it's not doing that because I'm in a template mode here. Get out of templates, right for me, right for me. I could have just used command enter, I think, but um, if you're in template mode, make sure you get out of template mode to begin just regular writing. If you have an unhealthy relationship with food, then start there will help change that as well. Okay. Um, well, it wants to give some more. Okay, let's continue this on. So this is a pattern recognition moment. Let's do two, what is it, right parenthesis, put it right there, hit run, uh, right for me, and it should continue the, the thread here, the, the list. It might even give us two or three more. All right, let's let's stop. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Actually, number five was was good advice too, but let's just stay with four. We're already inside of a section, right? So let's turn this into an H2. We've got a little bit of an introduction to our section. We've got a little sub outline. And now uh, read a book on how to cook well. You might do something here now with like, uh, I suggest reading and then let it write. Let's see. Normally you probably wouldn't let the AI take over to give book suggestions. Um, <laughs> okay okay it's not really what i intended but you know uh, i'm not going to be trying to really really craft an article here normally you would pay attention and just say okay i suggest reading books on how to cook that's good okay and then maybe at some point you would say these specific books check them out and if you're an affiliate for amazon you might even make that your affiliate thing um come down here watch videos on youtube right this would be a good opportunity to link out to somebody especially if you're if you're in the industry and you've got friends that have some really cool videos or if you do you could put those in there you can really kind of see where this gives you some good flow for getting the content created right you've already got your heading to the or your start your introduction to your article you could probably put some more here that's up to you and uh, then you just start going through the outline filling in the content at some point, you're going to get to where all of your sections are full. Then you get down to the bottom, and you just sort of write a conclusion to your to your uh, article. And you're, and you're essentially sort of done at that point, right? But we're in phrase, and so what I would say is uh, once you feel like you've really written a really good article, because you, you definitely have to be editing this stuff, Whenever you think you're done with with creating something for the you know sort of your first draft, uh, in the when you're using these AI tools like this, the editing phase is even more important than you know if you had sat there and written the whole thing yourself, because you know the AI will sometimes be a little fluffy. You know, it'll say a lot of extra words to say the same thing. So you you want to kind of make sure that it's more concise. You also wouldn't want to be 
um, letting it sort of go off onto tangents that don't really focus on the topic that well. That's why going through an outline like this, doing it section by section, and even having little sub outlines really helps keep the AI kind of focusing in and not going way too far off on tangents. But you should still be taking the time to edit after you feel like, okay, the content is there. You know, kind of think of it as like the, the really, really rough first draft and then spend a good amount of time editing. And I, I really suggest tools like Grammarly Premium because you can paste your entire article in there and it will basically do a whole bunch of the concision stuff for you. Like a lot of people think that Grammarly just changes like, you know, punctuation and, and capitalization and stuff like that and like misspelled words. It does that, of course, but it also has a lot of extra things in there. They've got concision engine where they can take a bunch of like scenarios where they're, it's either too wordy or it's using a word that's kind of obfuscating the real meaning of the sentence or something. And they can suggest fixes for that. Same thing for clarity. Like if you've got a whole paragraph that's just kind of, it's really hard to read or, you know, it's kind of jumbled a little bit, doesn't have a good flow, Grammarly will fix, fix that for you too. And so I would say that Grammarly is kind of like the, the first rough fix, rough, you know, edit to kind of get things done. And um, actually I could probably just go into Grammarly here and it wants to add it to Oh, here, log in. Sorry, I'm in an incognito window here. I might not be able to. Yep, I guess it doesn't let me. I use LastPass for, for password management, and I guess that doesn't want to work in my, for some reason, in this incognito widow, window. So, um, all right, well, never mind. I won't show you in Grammarly. Sorry, maybe in another video. Um, I definitely show it in the, in the course, but... Um, so uh, let me just sort of zoom out here. Maybe you can see a little bit more of this article. You can see that it's it's kind of just kind of coming together. And, and at this point, once you have all the content in there and you've done your editing, like you've gone over to Grammarly, you've done your editing, of course, make sure, make sure you're checking for, for mistakes in facts. Make sure you also check for plagiarism. That's another thing that Grammarly Premium can do for you. Uh, and then you've basically got your content done. Um, I would say... I take a moment again to think about your reader and you know if you've done a persona story for your reader based off of what you might have learned in the persona seo book if you've read it take the time to really make sure you're making that connection to the reader and make it so that when they're reading it they feel like you wrote it for them you know like you know their their needs you know based on what it is they're searching when they go into google in this case they're searching for how to cook better i imagine that's going to be a really difficult keyword to rank for but it's not always about ranking you can imagine there's probably some scenarios where you might hand off this article you know link to it uh, in some sort of social media groups or maybe reddit sub subreddits and things like that where when you really resonate with the reader you know they share it you know not all traffic comes from google not all the time and being personable and relating well with your reader can really drive up the quality of your of your article. And I really think that you should be doing that because going forward, as you can imagine, I'm showing you how to do this with an AI tool right now. There's going to be a lot of people who maybe are not in your niche, know nothing about your niche, but they're going to start cranking out a bunch of mediocre content about your niche. And if you don't do something to be to rise above that that quality bar that comes from somebody almost automatically generating the content via tools like this then you're just going to be in the middle of that mediocre content right and i think going forward the way to do that is to really make sure that you know your audience and you're writing for them not just to get content done and so I hope that I was able to teach you something in this video. I know I haven't done one of these in a while, and I'm sorry about that. In the past, I used to do a video almost every single day, it seems like. Uh, but phrase has been changing quite a bit lately, so I, I haven't really committed to like a real full let me show you everything end-to-end -end kind of video yet because there's some stuff coming that I want to be a little bit more mature, and then I'll definitely do some more. 
Uh, I don't want you to think that this video is specific just to phrase though. I'm showing you their templates and stuff. That's really cool. But it, like I showed you the templates from the AI content dojo here, they work inside of shortly Jarvis and stuff like that too. Um, as interesting as that sounds, because, you know, post posting, a, or I'm sorry, pasting a template into a blank sort of editor doesn't really feel like it's a template, but in the AI world that really, that really is. And so, uh, I also want to say that if you're not a pro dojo member, I want to show you that it's basically a way for you to join the AI content dojo, become a pro ninja It unlocks a bunch of stuff that I give to my, my, my ninjas for, it's for just $9 a month. And you know, that will help me, you know, provide a lot more value. It's a, it is kind of a place too, where I get to share some stuff that's, Maybe not really, like if I share it publicly to everybody that, you know, some people might take the idea and run with it or, so I feel more confident being able to share some things with my pro ninjas that I can't share publicly. So you're going to get some, you're going to get enhanced versions of those templates. Basically they got a bunch of extra training in them to make sure that they can produce better results. Uh, I'm, I'm constantly updating and tweaking and fixing these templates testing the output, you know, as time goes on. And I'm also testing them inside of uh, phrase shortly in Jarvis, the most, basically those three, if they work in those three, they pretty much work everywhere. Uh, I think I've heard of people using them in closers copy and other tools like that. I also create some time saving productivity tools that are only available to the pro ninjas. And those are things that will kind of take what I kind of taught you today and not automate it, but kind of set things up for you so that you can work faster. And it's hard to describe, but once you see it inside of the, the pro dojo, it's, it's cool. Uh, I already mentioned the course. I do plan more courses and you can learn with the, the first course I created was right with AI where I talk about the components and how to use these tools sort of on a general level, not really too specific to a, to a uh, product. Um, I use the three different products that I just talked about previously in this course. And I'm working on a new course for the phrase templates that's coming next. Sprinkled throughout the, the dojo, if uh, you're logged in as a pro ninja, there's also extra advice and stuff like that and tips. Uh, sprinkled all throughout the site inside of the guides and things. Also, if you're a pro, pro ninja, you get a discount on the book. Uh, you'll get access to future updates without, you know, having to pay more and stuff like that. It's a safe ad free experience. You know, if, if the day ever comes that I start accepting, uh, sponsorships and things like that, you'll, you won't see them because you'll be logged in as a pro ninja and I won't show them to you. You'll be able to lock in that price. And, uh, you know, I think that with your support and my value trying to give you more all the time. I mean, I'm working on the dojo pretty much every day that I can. In fact, right now here in Japan is probably two 30 in the morning. Here I am recording a video for you. Let's have some, some sake. If you could see that icon right here or that, the emoji. <laughs> um, and you know, I think that this is a place where we can respect and honor each other. And I will, um, Basically, like like I say right here, the pro jo the pro dojo is my way to carve out a special place in the dojo just for you. And I would really appreciate it if you joined and helped me out. And um, yeah, I also have a discount for phrase if you don't have it already. I can get you. I think I think the discount is twenty five percent off for the first three months that you you join. And so that'll be in the description below. And I guess until next time. I hope you uh, create tons of really great content for your reader. Take care.